We all know that animals usually bond with their own kind, but there are, of course, exceptions to this rule. For example, one cat might form friendly relations with a puppy. Then again, there were other cases that were even more unusual. In some cases, the two species actually became friends, and that is actually very entertaining to watch these animals try to communicate with each other. In today's story, I'll be telling you about the otters and orangutans who both share a strong connection despite never being related. They met the zoo in an unusual set of circumstances that led to their everlasting bond. And in fact, you'll soon find out what's miracle happened next. Revered family of orangutan stars, including a 24-year-old male named Eugene, his partner 15 years Sari, and their four-year-old son Barani, are rightfully considered the stars of the Perry Wildlife Zoo, located 60 kilometers away from Brussels, Belgium. Every day, hundreds of visitors gathered around the enclosure of the huge monkeys, and since their Janus is considered to be the most human-like, the orangutan family, just like people would have been, was very flattered by such attention. So in response to exclamations of admiration, the family didn't hesitate to show themselves and all the attention and even flirted with the visitors, winking at them and even hugging. Overall, these shaggy guys were very much content with their lives until at one point everything changed. The thing is that the global pandemic forced the administration of the zoo to close it to the visitors. Thus, in one instant, Yujing, Seri, and even little Barani lost the main joy of their life the constant attention they were so used to. As soon as the number of visitors dropped to zero, the caretakers noticed that the monkeys had lost their appetite and their mood was now very aggressive. In addition, the trio simply hid in the cave and refused to grow out of it. Overall, it was obvious that the family was very upset. They were fading away before the caretaker's eyes and even feels weird talking about it because no one knew how important people were to them and especially their communication. The zookeeper named Matthew understood well that if things continued like that, it would be almost impossible to get the monkeys to return to their previous way of life, which meant only one thing, they would soon die. Something needed to be done, and fast. At first, the carters tried to keep them company on their own, but the smart primates understood what was going on, because they knew the workers well. Even so, it did help a little, but they were still sad. And when the initial attempt at lifting the orangutan family spirits failed, the zookeeper came up with a brilliant idea. The very next day, this smart man gave the order to build an artificial river, which was supposed to pass through the enclosure of the primate family. Its beginning, however, it was deliberately put in the enclosure with the most mischievous animals of the zoo, otters that is. As soon as the canal was finished, the little rascals set out to check the cool innovation. Thus, the surprised little animals went down the river to see where it would take them. It should be mentioned that these nimble creatures certainly wouldn't let anyone around them get bored. Soon they found themselves in a monkey enclosure. No one knew exactly how the first encounter would go about and if they would even end up as friends or not, but everyone hoped for the best. And that's exactly what happened. When the strange guests landed in the enclosure of the orangutans, the curious Barani, who had never seen anything like them before, was the first one to run out to meet them. To the delight of the zoo workers who watched this encounter, Barani seemed to be a bit worried about the fact that there were quite a few otters, and he was alone, but then he stretched out his arms towards them, and then one of the otters came closer to Barani, and they began to sniff each other. It took each of them a few minutes to get to know each other and conclude that neither of them was dangerous, after which they began to play together. It was simply incredible, said the zoo workers, but then there was more. Seeing unidentified guests next to their son, Yujing and Seri, immediately rushed to help him out. However, five minutes later, they already got to meet the otters, which was no less heartwarming. Instead of taking Barani back to the cave, the huge orangutans didn't just allow him to play with their guests, but even joined him, seeking to get to know the newcomers better. A few minutes later, the otters were already running up and down the huge and every back of Yujing and Seri. The mood of the monkeys quickly changed for the better, jumping ahead. I like to say that a beautiful friendship started that day. Two completely different species of animals with completely opposite interests made friends. From the moment they first met, they began to spend almost all their time together. They mostly played catch up and hide and seek. According to Matthew, otters hide under large tree trucks or wooden structures and little barani runs around the enclosure looking for them. Sometimes they come over simply to tease them. 
It really does look like kids playing on the playground. Older animals spend their time with the adult orangutan, who even pick them up carefully with their huge paws and just let them run on their hairy backs. The photographers of the Belgian Zoo can't keep up with the animals, but the pictures they do manage to take turn out to be rather funny. A bulletin board has been placed at the zoo entrance recently, and among other things there, there are pictures of the wise-looking Yujing surrounded by otters, who seem to be closely watching him as he was their teacher, Sari is feeding their friends from her hand, and little Barani is running around the enclosure with them. Having learned about Matthew's ingenious idea, the journalist wanted to talk to him to find out how the life of the zoo's main celebrities changed. According to the caretaker, he still continues to improve the enclosure, adding logs, trees, and even plants to the artificial river. Having dealt with the orangutan family, depression, the caretaker also managed to develop their intelligence through games, puzzles, and even riddles. For the well-being of primates in captivity, two factors are of great importance the size of the enclosure and the organization of their vital activities. This means that orangutan is with whom humans share 97% of their DNA, must be entertained, occupied, challenged, and kept busy mentally, emotionally, and physically at all times. The idea to build an artificial canal was quite accidental, but now no one doubts that it was a great one, because interacting with other species had an extremely positive effect on the orangutan family. Moreover, realizing that the decision to combine two enclosures was successful. The zookeepers decided to try out the idea with penguins and seals, kangaroos and pelicans, as well as giraffes and ostriches. And even despite the fact that quarantine measures have eased up now and visitors can, once again, come to the zoo, this doesn't mean that the friendship between the orangutans and the otters is over. Yujing, Seri, and Barani are still the stars of the zoo, but now they have friends. The orangutan family even tried to swim to visit the otters, but that hasn't been possible so far. Meanwhile, the otters spend most of all their time in the orangutan enclosure, having learned about such an unusual relationship between the two completely different kinds of animals. Thousands of people rushed to see the miracle. With this happening, there was nothing like it before. This just goes to show that, even when times are tough, we should try to see the good in everyone around us. Both animals are willing to put themselves out there and help one another in what they both know is a challenging situation. Friends, how would you like to read about Matthew's idea for a new game? If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to never miss the video from our channel.